This episode is sponsored by Bath and Body Works. You gotta get your own come craft beer, lotion yourself up real good, head to toe at Bath and Body Works. That's right. So it can be silky smooth while you get beer shits on Wednesday. Yes. That'd be hilarious if that was our ad <laughs> and we were sponsored by them. And welcome, friends, to our 18th episode of Miss Behavior. Miss Behavior. Just me? Miss Behavior! Today, I am your host, Missy, and these are my lovely co hosts, Ariana, and my awesome co host, Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa. <laughs> because I, I was heard. Born, thank you for working that in. I, I heard a rumor that that was what his parents were going to name him if he was a girl. I would be Lisa Lynch, and I could be a superhero because you know the first name the, and last name thing. Well, when when if I would have been a boy, my parents were going to name me Bart. And when my mom told me that, didn't have a cow man. I thought she was lying, and so I didn't believe her, and I got in real big trouble for not believing her. So. I, I, yeah, no, right, I, yeah. I kind of want you That's to cool. like cut your hair real short and spike it up and paint it yellow and just walk up to you and like, don't they have a cow me in? That'd be kind of funny, but I do not want that I hairstyle. Remember. I don't even know if I know what my name was going to be if I was a boy. Maybe Noah. I don't know. I think I remember you saying something. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you didn't say something about maybe it. Maybe Ian's name was going to be Noah. Rainbow. His name was going to be Rainbow? My name was going to be Rainbow and his name was going to be Sky. That's funny. Uh-huh. How much dro- somebody sobered up and decided a regular name would be better? <laughs> That's it, right? I was going to say that same fucking thing. That's funny shit. Rainbow but Sky. Noah, and maybe it was me that was going to be Noah. I don't know. That's funny. You should still go by Noah. I'm, I'm going to do that. That's great. Oh, fuck, fuck, wait. <laughs> so anyway... I'm just going to build a whole ass ship is what she's going to do. Can we just like hijack that one down that like uh, Yeah, there's one that, that's already built down That, that one down in Kentucky. in Kentucky. Oh, yeah, it is in Kentucky. We can just hijack that bitch. Hell oh, yeah, that's that right. That seems like something that you guys would really be into. <laughs> like, yes, I'm here yes. for the gay porn oh, star God. Jesus. I I feel like I would definitely um go there to wreak some havoc. I could see you dressing as a Satanist. I could see you dr- walking in dressed as Jesus. Could we just all go in cosplaying Jesus? That would be awesome. That'd be fucking Maybe funny. one of us Jesus, the rest of We need to get like some other people and do like the apostles. That'd be hilarious. I'd be all about that. But we'd have to be like evil version of them. Like, just no, just straight up walk in dressed as those. Maybe somebody dressed as Muhammad just to really piss off everybody. That would, oh God, that'd be hilarious. Just dress as all the gods. Right, except for Jesus. Like, they would be really offended if we didn't dress as the ones that... Buddha. I'm going to be Vishnu, the, the one that's got, like, all the arms and shit. Aww, yeah. You can be Buddha, though. You can be Buddha. Can I be, like, a Greek god? Yeah, if you want. You, you can be, like, Zeus, but you have to have, like, a taser and throw it at people. Throw the taser at people? Just, like, a taser baton. Something that's, like, lightning, okay? Oh, okay, gotcha. Makes sense. Just bring a taser and be like... I, I, Walk just basically wearing, you know, a toga. Like, yes, I'm Zeus. That's not a great Zeus costume. Whip out taser. Taze. Ah, that's my lightning bolt, bitch. That's funny. Is Buddha even a god? I thought Buddha was like supposed to be an actual person. Buddha's an actual person. But then it's their god because they're a Buddhist. So. That's well, it, it, Buddha like found enlightenment by like meditating under a tree forever or something. Yeah. All right. Meditating, not masturbating. Could have been both, but you never know. <laughs> we just keep interrupting this. It's all right. So today we're not going to drink any beer, but we're just going to look at it as we get thirstier and thirstier through the whole fucking episode. We're still drinking this fucking, this bullshit. The Cayman Jack Off that Ron brought. So anyway. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was tired. I didn't in my fridge. Oh, true. <laughs> just giving away all the secrets today. So anyway... I brought um, a beer by Beer Zombie Brewery. Is that Cheech and Chong? Yeah. That's badass. Sweet. I hope it's dank. You, I, think, it... I think it's probably going to be, but you know, I'm, just, I'm doing Gross. different things than what I've normally done. I the, brought the... An, a, oh, an out of order series from Rar Brewing. Let's not forget to roll it this time. Yes. Is that like Star Wars themed? No, that one's not. I, I almost thought um, there was something. Because they had like a bunch of Star Wars themes on for May the 4th. Um, I did not see those. Maybe I did see those. I saw those on the, one of the things five, that, five 
I think Zach was drinking them and he posted yeah. them in his 513 Brewing Group. Join if you haven't already. Uh, and, of course, the Dasekis, Mysterious Beerius. They still don't sponsor us, but by God, we're going to keep pimping them. That's we right. should tag them and be like, sponsor us. We mention you every week, bitches. I don't want a fucking lame beer. It's not lame beer, but it's Free beer. Compared. Free beer. A free beer to sponsor us. See, now you're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> but anyway. She means it is the best beer ever. And now no, she can just take that audio clip and stick over top of it. Especially with Mexican food. There you go. True that. So this Beer Zombies Brewing, I did this purely th- for the can art. And what I actually, when I went into the store today, I was trying to just like look at can art, but then I got too into what was actually in them. And I started, because I, I wanted to pick out shit that I didn't even know what it was. And then I just didn't do it like that. But so anyways, this Beer Zombies Brewing, the one, it's called End to End Burners. And it's got a really cool skull, um, Chong on there, and then like a Cheech with a weird mask. And he looks it's like, like a, a monkey face mask. No, it's not a monkey. Looks face like mask. a gorilla face mask or something to me. No, it's it's for whatever reason. It looks like it just looks like a mask, but it's I kind of. I, I, it, it almost looks like a gimp mask, but I don't think it is. <clears throat> like the, uh, the, the mask the, to keep the zombie virus out. L- like the, the the eyes are very human. Mustache on the outside. The eyes are human eyes with the, that, but like the it's got like kind of a monkey gorilla mu- mustache thing. I don't know. No, it's fucking it's Cheech. Like, do you not know what Cheech and Chong is? It's been a long damn time. Dude, right. It just looks like he's got a leather rubber mask around his whole fucking face with his mustache showing because that's a signature thing they have to show. Check out our Facebook for pictures of it. So anyway, and our Instagram. Um, let's see. Government warning. No yeah. says it's an India pale ale. IPA. 8%, Sixteen fluid ounce, one pint. The answer. This, this doesn't say a whole lot of anything about it. Keep out of the reach of children. Recycle, 420 o'clock. The The homies. And. Who brewed it? The Ansarvia City Street. 420 o'clock. Something. It's it's a really small thing that you can scan. It's almost like it's their. It's their Instagram things. We should look at those in here a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to pour this. I think you're probably Damn. right, but it's going to be super dank, and it's going to be like making us like, it's going to take us like three years. To right, and honestly, mm-hmm. I meant to do the uh, the fruit one first, since yeah. it's got to stay cold. Uh, it looks, it's got a really nice, light, it's got some good hazy. head to it. Okay, some good head to it. Some good hazy head. Um, You got a foam light. over? Don't know. Okay. A light beer color. Right. It's like a legit fear whenever oh, one of those shit. gets cold. I did it too much. No, 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 oh, no, no. no. It's good. That, that's like a legit. One drop. One drop. That's like a legit fear seeing it foam over like that. It's like right. that freaking like panic of nah, slow motion, but you can't really do anything about it other than just sucking the head off. Right. That's what Ron does. Ron likes to suck the head off. He sure does. <sighs> Oh, you big thilly, stop it. How about Lisa likes to suck the head off? Is that better for you? Yeah. I like to say Ron likes to suck. That's it. Lisa's kind of fine, too. Yeah, we got to put you in the names. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you got to use, it's, 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 it kind of belongs to Ron. Apparently, we like to use the name of my parents in situations like this. <laughs> but but then again, we use Ron's name, parents' names, too. So. Right. But the thing of it is, when using the name Lisa, that's like the name that Ron was going to be. So. It's okay. So in my head right now, you're saying Lisa, and you're talking about Bart. I'm just picturing like Bart and Lisa Simpson right now. Makes sense. You to be Maggie. Dude, damn it. I had a toy named Maggie when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? It's like homemade cabbage patch doll. Oh, that's weird. Homemade cabbage patch doll. So it smells like an IPA. Yeah. That's not bad. It's got a creaminess to it. Yeah, it's an IPA. Nothing great, nothing bad. It's smooth. It's very smooth and For, creamy. Right. It's not, <clears throat> it isn't bad. No. It's not too dank. Mm-mm. Does it list bit. any of the hops or anything on the side or not? No, I couldn't find them. But however. Did you when, look up the brewery? <clears throat> I did. So they opened in 2013. They're out of. Um, what was their name again? Las Vegas. It is the 
Beer zombie brewing. Beer zombies brewing. And when I looked them up, I want to make sure I got where they're from. This, Las Vegas. And so when he, he opened up in 2013. But um, so the guy that is, that did the, um, that basically owns it and that started the brewery, what he did, so he, um, he had always been into craft beer and he had always been into art. And he said when he was a kid stealing um, beers from his dad, he was actually drinking craft beer before he even realized he was drinking it because his dad had um, PBRs for the daytime and then he would have like some Sierra Nevadas at night. And he, he said his dad always had a lot more of the, the Sierra Nevadas. So when he would go to sneak one, he'd sneak the Sierra Nevadas. So anytime that he was drinking beer as a teen, he was drinking the Sierra Nevadas. So he was drinking craft beer. Those are pretty damn good. They are pretty good. But he, um, so he was really big into art. And th there was a time, I can't remember when this happened, but it was before he did his, um, the brewing. He went into a place and he had done like smaller murals, but he went into, I think he went to a brewery, I think. And um, they wanted to, uh, they wanted him to do the art. And he went into the building to look to see what he was going to be working with. And they wanted like a huge ass mural. And he was just like, he said he just confidently lied to them. And was like, yeah, I can do it. And he said he had no idea what he was going to be doing. But they gave him all, like, basically they had, there was no guidance. They had no preference. To, there was, they didn't really tell him what to do. And he didn't have anybody working with him. And so he just did this, um, this mural all by himself. And he like, you know, did that. And then... You know, um, since he was real big into art, he just had some things that he So he just doing. like went in and they're like, yo, do art. And he's like, what kind of art? Fuck it. We don't care. Just do art. So he could have just been like a big middle finger. Fuck you. Um, I, I feel like there was probably like very little, um, like this is what we want. You know, they could have specified we're a brewery. We want hops. We want beer. We want, you know, this theme. We want this. Now have at it. But so for himself what he did he um just because he was big into art he had drawn a um i don't know he drew like this skeleton face with a, a beard and it was like a hops so it was basically like a hops on the bottom of this face for the beard and he really liked it and he said i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but it's it's my logo so he went and he got it um like a registered trademark on it he got so nobody else could use it and or anything like it and then when he realized he wanted to do the brewing he just uses that as his logo for his brewery and that's pretty much how he started out and i think that's pretty cool i, I like that story i figured i figured with the cool can art like that that it, it would be a really cool oh yes i forgot to show it i figured it would be a really cool um story. so we got some cheech we got some chong um the background's kind of like a um, Bit of like a tie dye. So in the background, it's a tie dye pattern. You got the Cheech and the Chong with the hops beard and all that. And so the, and the, uh, the big old puff of smoke from their weed smoking. That's how I see it. This is actually a pretty decent IPA. I like it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not so do. bad. I, I compare it kind of to a. Um, I compare it to one of the Arche IPAs that we've liked. Mm -hmm. It's it just it has that smoothness. I think the Arche IPAs have been really smooth, and this one's fairly smooth too. Not sure what kind of hops in it, but I don't actually think there's Citra for a change. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Because it does not, it doesn't have quite that same citrusy taste that most of this shit has, you know. Mm -hmm. Kind of has a little bit of a tropical taste to it, maybe. Right. I, like yeah, I don't think it's the citrusy <laughs> taste, like you said. If it does have citrus in it, it's like not as much as yeah. Some of the other ones we've done. Right. And that's just a little bit upsetting. I don't know what the fuck is in it. Well, Let's see. What's the untapped on that? Did you look that up or not? I did not. Let's see if I can scan those little things that are on it. I think they're just... Beer Zombies Bottle Shop, Las Vegas... They have a bottle shop, apparently. Go them. Yeah. It is too small. Those little things on there are too small. Little codes, let me try. Yeah. My phone's not reading the codes. 
Well, it doesn't help oh, that they. Shit. It doesn't help that they fucking printed the bastards in like tie dye hippie green instead of black. Right, but they're really small. Yeah, not a chance in hell I'm gonna scan that. But I could definitely go for some more of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna look this shit up and see if I can't find it. End time burners? Is that what it says? Something like that. There you go. End time burners. Let's see what we got here. End to end burners. Zombie Brewing Company untapped. End to end burners. It's got a four star rating on untapped. As untap slowly loads because my phone hates my ass today. Do 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 do. Okay, so it's a imperial, yeah, IPA imperial double New England hazy is what they've got it on there. So, uh, super dank, juicy, uh, double IPA brewed with an insane amount of cry, uh, cryocitra. Okay, so it does have Citra. Galaxy Hop. Citra and Galaxy Hops. Not bad. So sticky for a <laughs> sticky big blast of grapefruit, melon, lime, gooseberry, passion fruit, lychee, and mango. Thank you, Untapped, for uh, spoiling our uh, own version of Untapped. There you go. Hey, it makes sense, and it's really good that they did that. Because so whatever is in it is like cutting the citra hops more than... I wonder like, if the cryo part of the cryo citra is like, like cryogenically freeze it and freeze dry it or whatever. Maybe. Maybe that's cut out some of those oils from the hit citra so it's not quite as strong. Right, and I feel like, I don't know, <clears throat> I almost think it seems like... I know I've had something else that had the Galaxy Hops in it, and for some reason that seems a little bit more smooth. So maybe the Galaxy Hops are really smooth. Hmm. Let's see, what else about that? Now they're kind of dead on with their description of the taste. It is juicy, because it, it does have like a more of a juicy taste. Yeah, it's a little fruity. Hmm. Juicy, fruity, and it's fairly dank for what it is. not super ultra. Definitely it's, not like that it's dank. It's not dank only. It's not dank squash, that's for damn sure. That's Remember Dank Squatch? Dank Squatch. Yeah. How can I forget? That shit was, ew. Creamy, smooth, hazy, hoppy, sweetness, juicy, fruity, dank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for number rating, I'll go with a 3.5 on it. I was thinking 375. I was, I was thinking like a 3. It's it's good, but you know, I'm just not into it. Like, I don't. So like, maybe it needs to be colder, but it's. It's it's I like the, how smooth it is, but I just I'm not too big on the flavor for it. I feel like I could eat some fucking chips and shit with this one. This you know sit around watch a movie. Chips and chips salsa, and guac. yeah. You chips and chip. guac and just watch like a shitty movie. That's what this would be good for me in my head. Fuck yeah, I could sit there and watch like Nightmare on Elm Street. Hell yeah, like, like shitty. Eight. Cheech I and Chong. Supposed to be another one of those. Cheech and Chong. Yeah, that's right. You would watch a Cheech and Chong with this. Dude, you would have Cheech to. Cheech and Chong is a good movie. Hell yeah. Okay, that's right. Probably really now, but I loved well, you just find some well, weed, well, and we then suddenly it when we were teenagers, and we shouldn't have been watching it at that age. But you, you know, just find really some cool. weed, smoke it, and all of a sudden it'll be it'll be Cheech and Chong will be really good. Possibly, but now it's just nostalgic. If I watched it and I never watched it before, I'd probably be like, "This is the dumbest shit ever." But Man, since it's like, I don't know, I feel like we'd probably laugh at it. Yeah, maybe. Talking about that nostalgic kind of a stoner vibe. I was going through, I found the uh, old school sleeve of C CDs from back in the day. And I was flipping through there and I found Pink Floyd's The Wall. Nice. And I've been blaring that one all damn day, just been like, man, I can't believe how fucking good this is. Yeah, that's one of their best. But I also can't believe how fucking short it is by what I'm used to. And I'm just like, it's really not that short. I've listened to like just the first disc of it, like, because I don't know what happened to the second disc, but I've listened to that first disc. Like six times they drive around doing shit for work. Dude, I can remember being obsessed with that movie when I was like That's seventh so and eighth grade. I watched it all the fucking time. I like the movie. What I really liked though of theirs, what was it? It was their. It was a CD that they came out well. They didn't really come out with. Wasn't it Dark was, Side? Was it? No, it was. So they had it after they re-released The Wall. And it was like a kind of like a best of greatest hits type deal, and I forget what it was, but it had like all kinds of shit. I think it was, I almost want to say it was a four disc, but I kind of don't feel like it was a four disc type deal. I think it might have just been a two disc because I remember it being a real small case. It wasn't thick. 
man, talking about like this and like this shitty beer got me to thinking. You know, you know what I remember doing like one time ever. What's that? The neon movies back in the day where that they used fun. to show where they used to show Rocky. They once or twice did Dark Side of the Rainbow. I liked where they took like freaking Dark Side of the Moon, and if you wait to a certain point in Wizard of Oz, they they sink third, up. Third lion's roar. Third lion's roar. Okay. Mm-hmm. You start playing the album. It's a- third lion's roar of that movie and it's supposed to sync up good and it does it's, it, does. it was like some really cool I shit i never watched it somewhere but i've done that at home I, I remember like my mind was fucking blown because like the part where it's all black and white and the the witch lady is riding up on her bicycle that's when money starts playing and it's like you, you see her feet pedaling the bike and it's like ka-ching 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 because yeah, the coins like, for it, money it, it just exactly syncs up and it's, it's just so like cool. whoa that, that's definitely like a thing where if you're definitely experiencing a little 420 ish how did they figure that out somebody got and really why did they do that with other shit why did they do somebody that with was other fucking shit? high as shit and they're like dude i am so high let's like they were probably just watching wizard of oz and like Listening to music at the same they, time. They had some, that, some people do that shit. No, nah, they had like. I the, used to do that kind of stuff. I'm thinking like a roommate situation where somebody's like, they're all sitting there smoking and somebody's listening to Pink Floyd and make, man, I want to watch fucking, I want to watch a movie. And they're like, I want to fucking watch Wizard of Oz. Dude, that sounds fucking great. That sounds like a stoner thought. And then they're like, they do it and they're like, dude, this works so good. Dude, I haven't watched Wizard of Oz before. And they're just like, am I fucking high or is this really working? I'm like, dude, 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 am I high or is this working? And they're just like, whoa, that's fucking the shit, man. I feel like people because it had to, to, they play they play the TV. Well, no, who was it? Would have had to have been something that spawned out of the eighties because nobody had you know home videos before then. This dude that Larry used to work with would do that. He would play music, but he doesn't like to just listen to music, and he would put the TV on but mute it. Kind of watch, yeah. Right, just. I used to do that sometimes. My brain can't multitask that well anymore. Let's see. Yeah. I, I feel like I would do it. I don't know if I did shit like that, but I could easily see myself doing that and like reading the subtitles or something while listening to music. I wouldn't even read the subtitles or anything. Just, just some, have having something just to watch. Like something visual to look mm-hmm. at, you know. But um, were you with me? I was talking about this the other day when they had one of the laser shows. It was like Pink Floyd the Wall laser show. And I think it was at Victoria Theater because we were talking about Victoria Theater the other day, and I'm pretty sure that's where I saw this laser show at. I know that you... It wasn't with you. I know that they did, they did that for a hell of a long time at the uh, planetarium at Boonshaft. The Boonshaft, right. I, I saw it at the Boonshaft. Yeah, I don't think it was there. It was like a... Fan. It was like an old theater, and I'm pretty sure it was Victoria Theater, and you get up, and there's like this really old guy, and he was like the usher or whatever. Oh, I'm, I remember... I'm sure they did it there. They had a... They had a couple fancy shows out there that I don't. I remember the radio to advertise, but I never made it too. But I was always like, I always think about how that place is supposed to be haunted or whatever. When I that'd think of be that cool. Place. I uh, yeah, I should go see something there. Like I don't know if they did something like that. I would definitely watch that there. But no, when I watched the thing at Boonshaft, oh, I thought that already got rinsed. But when I saw the thing at Boonshaft when they did it, they before they when when they were seating people, I was sitting there waiting, and they were playing. Um, Kid Rock, like, ball with the ball. And then, but they, when they were playing that, they had a big screen where the Teletubbies were dancing. Mm-hmm. And it was really fucking funny. Kid Rock with Teletubbies? Yes. Uh, and it worked good because it looked like they were dancing to his fucking song. And it was really hilarious. Uh, man, so, like, have you ever seen the memes where they do, like, the Teletubbies in black and white and they slow down the music? No, I've that seen some of that really shit. Fucking creepy. That shit is very fucking creepy. Like you take Teletubbies, put them black and white, and just really up the contrast levels. That's well, so it's it, very sharp black and white, not like a grayscale. They it, get real fucking creepy. I feel like that would be creepy, like shit from the fucking fifties and sixties when they have, I don't know, when they're showing old footage of ronald mcdonald how he looked like at first and he looked weird and like the first ronald mcdonald had like a freaking cut nose and yes, ears like and he, they were like yo dude go be a clown and it's like here's clown makeup what else can i use anything that's in the store and he just threw shit on himself that looked really bad and then they um certain uh, like halloween masks kids halloween masks or like the easter bunny how it looked fucking oh demonic God. and shit dude, i can like vaguely not even vaguely i can like remember being in like a grocery store or something and the Easter Bunny was there 
And I was like so fucking scared of this Easter bunny. I was like screaming bloody murder. That's fucking awesome. And he was like following me, trying to give me candy and <laughs> shit. And I'm like, no! <laughs> you, you wonder like, if the that fuck. That shit was traumatizing. That's so awesome. like, uh, you know, looking back on it now, I got to wonder like, you know, from our parents' generation, you got to go, if, was he like genuinely concerned that he was scaring you? Or was or, he trying to fuck Or is it like now you? where somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to fuck with that kid because this is funny. Right. I wouldn't even say that's like our parents' generation. I'd be like, that was our generation before people decided to be more empathetic. Like, I, I feel like just our generation did do ass shit.